Open your wallet. <laughs> you just need to relearn the ABC. Because A is not for Apple. A is for assumptions. And B is not for baby. B is for breaking rules. And C is not for curly cats. It's for choosing to challenge your comfort zone. Because we all make assumptions. It is COVID, so I'm not sure if I'm going to go if I pick up the phone and phone that client. He's probably going to say he doesn't have that much budget right now for me. So we don't pick up the phone and we don't do it. And before we know it, two, three years have gone past and we've never picked up that phone. But we are too afraid to try. Because you cannot grow if you are comfortable. You cannot. You're going to stay stagnant. The fear, fear of someone is going to laugh at you or someone is going to say you're not good enough. Because that's our biggest fear. It's, it's the whole imposter syndrome. And shame is what keeps you silent. And even worse, it will lead to anxiety, depression, and suicide. And I was hitting rock bottom. And it all started with a little lie I've been telling myself since I was a, a five-year-old girl. When my mom committed suicide, my entire little world changed. Everything comfortable, everything familiar was taken away from me in that moment. It makes you feel like you are not good enough. But we have to learn to stop breaking those rules. I opened the door to my inner child. I can see the men's like, what's going on here? Why would you open up the door to the inner child? <laughs> you have more fun. When you have more fun, you laugh. When you laugh, when you feel good, ideas just keep coming. So in fact, you can't afford not to open the door to your little inner child. This is your game of life. You might not always win, but you've got it back. Lynn's presentation was straight on the point in regards of looking at that comfortable feeling, feeling uncomfortable. Breaking down the barriers in regards of what you're doing to try and achieve your best success, the best objective that you're really looking for. I would seriously highly recommend for any organization to speak to Lynn and get her in as one of your guest speakers, not just to inform the group, but also incentivize and inspire the audience. The presentation was inspiring and personal and um, just something not, not only for business, but if you run a charity or a project that needs, uh, you know, just needs someone to really touch a person's creativity, ambition, maybe a secret ambition, but Lynn's just got a way of opening up the people around her. I thought it was very inspiring and um, what I liked most about what she said that kind of resonated with my own business journey was to ditch the assumptions that she told can apply to many people who are stuck in a rut in how they apply themselves but to not be afraid to come out of your comfort zone and break the rules mm -hmm. and challenge yourself yeah go beyond what you think obviously you uh, believe you can achieve and go for your goals and don't be afraid to take that step away and think I can't do this and as many of the speakers kind of backed up what Lynn was saying mm -hmm. I think it's very much a case of do not be afraid to go for your goals and if you fall down get up again and keep going and that's how I followed my own business journey and if anybody wants to get motivational coaching or wants to learn more about how to step on that ladder to success and be able to build that self-confidence to do well in their business, speaking to Lynn Erasmus and having that conversation with them.